math friends, today we're talking about line plots. We'll be assisted by my friend Chef Louis, who works at the Best Berger. So let's start it off by creating a line plot. Here we're given some information about the number of burgers sold and what size they are. We're going to build a line plot from that. So first thing we do, just like our table, we need a title. The number line is an important part of the line plot. Can't have it without it. And it's also nice sometimes to have a key. Now, in this key, I said that each of our burgers represents one burger sold. Typically, you see these as X's or as dots, but I just thought a burger would be more fun today. So moving right along. In the one-fourth spot, we have six burgers. So we're just going to go ahead and place six burgers above the one-fourth spot. Moving to the two-fourth spot, we have five burgers. And three-fourths, we have three. And in the one spot, we have two. So now all of our burgers are accounted for. Let's try an example. Here we're given the different burgers sold, and we want to know the total weight of all the one-half pound burgers. Okay, first of all, we need to remember that one-half is equivalent to two-fourths. So then when we look on our line plot and we look at two-fourths, we see that we have five burgers. Okay, so if I have five burgers that each weigh one-half pound, that means I can add one half five times, or now that we're big boys and girls, we know we can multiply five times one half, which gives us five halves, which is the same as two and a half. So the total weight of all the one half pound burgers is two and a half pounds. Good job. Let's try just one more. Here we're given the different sized burgers, how many we have, and we want to know if all of the meat which was used to make the one pound burgers was used to make one fourth pound burgers, how many one-fourth pound burgers could be made? Okay, so first let's look at how many one-pound burgers we have, and it's two. So we have a total of two pounds of hamburger meat. Now I want to separate that into groups of one-fourth pounds. So when I have a total and I separate it into equal size groups, that is division. And in case you don't remember our trick for dividing a whole number by a unit fraction, I'll go ahead and provide us a model. Here I have two squares, each representing one pound, so these are my two pounds. I want to separate them into groups of one-fourths, which means that I now have eight one-fourth groups inside of two pounds, which means I can make eight burgers that are one-fourth pound. So now you're even a bigger expert at line plots than you thought you were before, and we can thank our friend Chef Louis.